in a major operation to bust the nexus between narcotics, terrorism and mafias, the National Investigation Agency or the NIA has conducted raids across several states this morning. The agency has cracked down upon homes of suspects in Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand and MP. The raids have been conducted in connection with the three separate cases launched by the agency last year. The aim of such crackdowns is to neuter foreign-based terror networks, influx of narcotic drugs in the country and to completely dismantle their funding and support infrastructure. The NIA was also in the news for conducting operations against the PFI a while back. In this video, we explain to you what the NIA or the National Investigation Agency is and what type of operation it usually undertakes. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. Along the lines of the FBI, the NIA is a central agency functioning under the aegis of the Ministry of Home Affairs. It is mandated to investigate all offences that have the potential to negatively affect the sovereignty, security and integrity of India and her friendly relations with foreign nations. These include terror acts and their possible links with crimes like smuggling of arms, drugs and fake Indian currency and infiltration from across the borders. The agency has the power to search, seize, arrest and prosecute those involved in such offences. It also has the mandate to probe offences under laws that have been enacted to implement international treaties, agreements, United Nations conventions and other such international organisations. It can take suo moto cognizance of terror activities in any part of the country. A very crucial point about NIA is that unlike the CBI, it does not need permission from any state government to enter their territory in order to investigate cases or even arrest suspects. The states can request an investigation by NIA after approval of the central government within the limits of law specified under the NIA Act. The agency also maintains its own most wanted list. NIA was constituted under the NIA Act 2008 as the aftermath of the Mumbai terror attack. After the Mumbai attack, it was felt that there was a need for setting up of an agency at the central level for investigation of offences related to terrorism and certain other acts which have national ramifications. And this is how NIA was born. It is headquartered in New Delhi and it has several regional offices. The staff of the agency in the national capital is drawn from existing central staff and security organizations, while in the states, permanent deputation from the state police is also undertaken. Officers of the NIA who are drawn from the Indian Police Service and Indian Revenue Service have all powers, privileges and liabilities which the police officers usually have in connection with investigation of any offence. The agency has set a gold standard with over 90% conviction rates in the cases it has probed so far. Earlier, NIA had the authority to only declare organizations as terrorist outfits, but now it has been given the authority to also declare individuals as terrorists and so far over 35% have been declared terrorists by the agency. Efforts are also being made to give more teeth to the agency and in pursuance of this, the NIA Amendment Bill 2019 has been already passed by the Parliament that has amended the original Act of 2008. The bill seeks to allow the NIA to investigate additional offences such as human trafficking, offences related to counterfeit currency or banknotes, manufacture or sale of prohibited arms, cyber terrorism and offences under the Explosive Substances Act 1908. The amendments also aim to expand the jurisdiction of NIA. The officers of the NIA will have the power to investigate scheduled offences committed outside India subject to international treaties and domestic laws of other countries. The special court in New Delhi will have jurisdiction over all these cases. Also, various special courts have been notified by the central government for the trial of the cases registered at various police stations of the NIA under sections 11 and 22 of the Act. Any question as to the jurisdiction of these courts is decided by the central government. The Supreme Court has also been empowered to transfer the cases from one special court to any other special court within or outside the state. So, in a nutshell, the NIA is an elite counter-terrorism organization with a mandate to curb activities that are detrimental to the interests of India. We hope we have been able to explain the most important facts about the NIA. Thank you so much for watching.